So this is tutorial question number three. Okay, for question number A, you could uh, explain uh, by yourself. So I'm not discuss here. So we have we go for question B. There is a layer of thickness X here of a liquid of density rho 1 on top of a liquid of density rho 2. So means that we have two type of liquid here. A uniform cylinder with length L, radius R and mass M float in this liquid as shown in Q1. At equilibrium, so what is the magnitude of F, the force exerted by the fluid on the lower face of the cylinder? Derive an expression for H, the leg of the cylinder above the upper liquid at equilibrium. So we have a, a situation like this. We have two layer of liquid. So each of them has their own uh, density. So and then we have a cylinder here floating in these two fluid. So uh, we have the value of X here means the, the area which not uh, submerged in the liquid and we have the thickness of the first liquid so as x here so we need to calculate what is the force exerted by the liquid on the lower face or the force of buoyancy that occur in the system Okay, so this is the uh, answer for question A. So buoyancy force is a force that tends to leave a body that immerses in a fluid. The magnitude of buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the immersed body. Uh, it acts upward and it acts through the centroid of the displaced volume. Okay, so this is the answer for question B. So, assuming there are no surface tension and pressure at above the cylinder is equal to zero. So, I think you understand about this one. So, this is means that the atmospheric pressure here is equal to zero. So, means if the gas, means the atmospheric uh, gas is not given any uh, pressure. So, there are no forces act on the surface. So, we could neglect the, the effect of the force from the atmospheric pressure. Now, uh, we will use the idea of F is equal to mg or force of buoyancy is equal to the weight. So both uh, give the same meaning of this one. So we assume that the cylinder is floating in equilibrium. So means that so means that, that the total force of buoyancy is equal to its weight. However, so we need to be uh, very careful when we calculate the weight here because we need to calculate both. We need to calculate two times. One is weight uh, based on the uh, weight on the different because we have two different two different uh, two different liquid. So we need to create two equation like this one because we need to know uh, we need to use both uh, density. So force of buoyancy is equal to rho GV. So we because we have two uh, liquid, so we need to write like this one. So and then please understand this calculation. So the rho here, rho 1 means that the density of liquid 1, gravity is the gravity and AX is the volume for liquid number 1 that displaced by the object so and then for volume number two here so we could calculate it is become rho 2 g l minus x minus h and times the cross-sectional area which is an a so and then we could substitute the value of a here as pi r square so and then we could get this this value so this is only for the force of buoyancy. So if we see the diagram here, okay, if we look at the diagram here, so we have two parts here. So means we need to calculate the volume of this first uh, part, the 
volume of displaced uh, area by the uh, liquid one and the volume by the second liquid liquid here so uh, the the idea is the total length of this one we minus with x here and we minus with h at the top here to get the distance of the submerged uh, cylinder for in the liquid number two so this is what you get uh, in this calculation so and then we need to calculate what is the weight of the object so the weight is equal to mg or it also can be calculated as rho g and volume however because we want to calculate the weight here so the density here should be the density of the object and the volume here should be the volume of the uh, the volume of the uh, the volume of the total object so this equation comes from the previous one so come from the force of buoyancy here and the mg here is this one so i mean this is the equation to calculate the weight so and then we could calculate the weight here okay so in this question it is okay for us to leave the the mg here the mass okay it is no need for us to change the the equi uh, the value so if you want to expand this equation actually you could replace the mg here with the rho g and volume so if you change it into rho g and volume so this is must be the rho of the object so means that from this uh, equation so we have a mass m float here so without uh, any information of the density of this object so means that because it uh, give us the, the value of m here mass uh, for this object so the question is okay to remain as m here because this parameter is given in the question if not you need to replace the mg here with rho of the object times gravity and the, the total volume so the total volume is the the a here times the total length of the cylinder so mean the volume of this one if you want to calculate the if you want to calculate the weight is the total volume of this object so mean you need to calculate from this one the whole height of this cylinder so this is the expression of h from uh, from this question